Growing up, Eugene Boland had to have five knee surgeries. Found out that there was kind of nothing except for um, donor tissue that could replace it, and I thought that was stupid. Um, that there was nothing, no synthetic, no, really no engineering solution. Because of that, he wanted to find solutions as a bioengineer. Years later, Dr. Boland can hardly believe the mission he's on. Print a human heart. Excitement, fear, and you know, it's, um, it sounds both Buck Rogers and science fiction and just the culmination of a career all in one sentence. He's the chief scientist at TechShot, a company that develops cutting edge instruments for NASA, the Department of Defense, and other organizations. John Bellinger helped start TechShot in Greenville, Indiana 28 years ago. This project may be his greatest achievement. If a young child has a heart defect and they need a heart transplant, we could take their own stem cells, create a human heart, implant that into the patient, and it could grow with that child, therefore reducing the number of heart transplants that child might have to have over its life. 3D printing has come a long way, pushing out toys, giving this duck new prosthetic feet, and in January, we introduced you to a patient with a 3D printed knee replacement. But it's organs that are hard to create. TechShot is working with two other companies to create a human heart in space. There's strides being made in orthopedic tissues that don't have a lot of blood vessels. So the real problem is um, the vasculature. So getting blood vessels growing into tissues. Scientists around the world are trying to bioprint organs, but it hasn't been done. The real trick is to being able to get the cells to grow. And because of gravity here on the ground, people have been, you know, trying for 10 or 15 years, but just cannot get the vascularization, those cells to grow in that structure. That's why this team is trying to do it in outer space. Gravity is a deterrent here on the ground, and in space you don't have gravity, so therefore it creates opportunities to create a more perfect structure. Recently, the team took their equipment to Orlando and tested it in a zero gravity simulator with success. We actually printed the structure with living um, human stem cells of a baby heart during that process. And so our next step is to actually take that same machine and put it up on a rocket, a sounding rocket that will go up and orbit the Earth. And then after that, we're going to put that technology on the space station. On the International Space Station is where they hope their equipment will be able to create the first bioprinted human heart. NASA is very excited about this opportunity because to be able to say that space is key to making this happen is great for everyone. And the first transplant is within reach. We fully anticipate being able to bring back a transplantable organ by 2024. But with technology coming together and you put throw in the aspect of space, I think there's real opportunities to make major breakthroughs.